Welcome to the Mental Toughness Academy for Youth Sports. This video is the next segment of a series of trainings for coaches to learn how to teach mental toughness to their athletes. Don't tell a kid to believe in himself. Also, don't tell a kid, you just got to focus. You got to start focusing. This goes right over kids' head. They don't even know what you're talking about. Tell them what to focus on. Give them something to focus on. Their minds are going haywire. They're thinking about their last event, their last screw up. They're worried about what might happen next. They're going all over the place with their teammates who's thinking this, my parents in the stands, and you're going, focus. How do I focus, coach? This works wonders, and I, and I preach this all over the place. I call it just focusing on the love of the sport. When you have an athlete that has trouble focusing, you take a moment or two and say, John, what are you doing here? Why do you run the, the, the 500 meter? The, why do you do the long jump? Why do you do the high jump? Right? They usually will say things like, well, it's fun. It's challenging. I like it. No, no, no. Dig deeper. And tell them to go home. And say, I want you to write out a list of all the things you absolutely love about your event, about being here, in detail. A lot of times they need a little help on this. I say, well, you know, my sport is golf. That's my first sport. And when I get to the golf course, man, I just love being out in the open. Finally breathing some fresh air. I love cross-hatched fairways. I love the feel of a ball going right off the center. Oh my gosh, it's just like magic going up my arms. You know, I love the smell of fertilizer in the morning. And I go on and on and on about these details. Right? I actually had a swimmer recently. I said, what do you love about swimming? And she was struggling with this. And I said, what about what? There, think about your senses when you just step into the pool. She goes, oh, I love chlorine. I love the smell of chlorine. It's like trick. Great. When you walk into the pool or walk into the building with a pool, you start thinking, chlorine, blue water, friends. And you focus. Here's the thing about focus. These kids are too smart for their sport, especially track, track and field, okay? It goes for any sport, but this one even more so from the athletes that I've worked with. I like to give them the metaphor. I say, you've got like this Ferrari mind, and all you need is a bug to do your sport, a bug mind. So you've got to give that Ferrari mind something to do, all right? You hear a lot of elite athletes who talk about um, you know, I'm just about to get on the runway, and, uh, and what are you thinking when you get on that runway? Uh, nothing. I'm not thinking of anything. <laughs> Good luck trying to teach a 14, 15, 16 year old. Don't think of anything. It doesn't work. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's better to give them something to fill that mind with. Let that Ferrari out on the freeway. Fill it with things. Love of the sport, big detail list. Before they get to their event, you have them review that list. Look over it. When you walk into the, into the stadium or into the building, you're looking at it, you're thinking about it, you're noticing, and you're going, my people, my place. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer.